Hello, I'm James Clark from King's College London, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to export your data and graphs in GraphPad Prism. Whilst GraphPad Prism is very effective at storing your data tables, results tables, graphs and layouts, there may be a time where you need to export your data for either use in third-party applications, for collaborating with a colleague that may not have GraphPad Prism, or for publication purposes. GraphPad handles data tables and results by exporting them as text files and your graphs and layouts by exporting them as various graphical formats. The text file formats for data tables and results are similar for both the Apple and Windows platforms, but the possibilities for exporting data in graphical format from graphs or layouts are different for the two platforms and I will show you each of these platforms in turn. But let's start with exporting text data from either our data tables or our results tables. Here you can see the multiple comparisons data from a one-way repeated measures ANOVA carried out on some synthetic data. We want to export this spreadsheet in order to edit it elsewhere, perhaps in Microsoft Word to produce a table for publication. In order to export your data, you can simply click on the Export button, which is on the menu bar. When you click on the Export button, the Export As window appears, and you can choose the name of your file at the top, and underneath where it says File Format, you can choose the kind of file you wish to export. Prism allows you to export your text data as tab or comma delimited text, or as result sheets in XML format. You can either export single results sheets or all your results sheets in XML. Once you have selected your file format, and in this case we're going to choose text file as tab delimited, you can then include your column titles and highlight whether your excluded values are numbers, numbers followed by a star, or blanks to show missing values. To help the data flow between different laboratories in different countries, you can choose how you also separate your decimals, either through period or comma. The default is the system default, which in this case is period. On this occasion, we don't want to open the folder once we've exported it. Once you're happy with your selection, click on the export button and your text file will be saved on your hard disk. This process also works with data tables. Select your data table, click on the export button and choose the file format. We'll choose comma delimited this time. Make sure the file name is correct. Choose the options you wish to select and press export and your data will be exported to the selected folder on your hard disk. A similar process can be used when exporting graphical objects such as graphs or layouts. We will choose Layout 1 and then click on the Export button on the menu bar as before. But this time, since we have selected a layout, the options are slightly different because we are exporting graphical objects and not text. Once you have chosen the file name, in this case Layout 1, you can select what file format you wish to export. Since we are using the Apple operating system, we have a choice of formats suitable for Apple computers. We can choose between a PDF, an EPS, postscript file, a TIFF image file, a JPEG, a PNG, or a Windows BMP file. It is worth noting that the PDF and EPS format are a encapsulated postscript format which allows for a combination of both vector and bitmap images to be stored within the same image file. Quite often these will be the highest quality images since GraphPad Prism uses vector imaging to create its graphs. TIFF, JPEG, PNG and BMP files are bitmap files made of pixels if you're choosing a bitmap file, you will also need to choose the resolution at which you wish to export it. 
For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to choose JPEG. Now I've chosen JPEG, the options for JPEG exporting appear underneath. I can choose the resolution in dots per inch from 100 to 1200. I'm going to choose 600, suitable for publication. You can also enlarge or shrink your image to make it a certain size or leave it at the full size. You can also choose the colour mode, whether it be CMYK, grayscale or RGB colour mode. This would be important for publication since certain publishing houses require certain colour models for their images. Once you are happy with the settings you have selected, you can click Export. Just to explore the other options though, we'll look at the options for TIFF file. TIFF files allow compression, and now you can see we have a Enable Compression tick box. TIFF and PNG files also allow for an alpha channel. This is a transparency channel. Because PRISM knows this, it allows you to choose your background colour. You can choose whether it is white, the same colour as the page, or clear, absent of any colour information. If you save a TIFF file with a clear background colour, this will fit perfectly on a coloured background and you'll be able to see the background through the image. This is particularly useful if you're exporting your images for production onto a poster presentation or PowerPoint presentation. So it is worth exploring these options fully to find out which file format suits you best, since many different publication houses require different formats. Again, once you're happy with your file format, click on the export button. Depending on the resolution you choose and the quality of the image you select, this may take either fractions of a second or a number of seconds to export. Your image has now been exported into the folder as a TIFF file. If I drag this image onto the screen, you can see a high resolution bitmap rendering of the graph layout we had in PRISM. This is very useful for then using this figure for publication. On the Windows platform, the export options for graphics are slightly different to those on the Mac. When you click on Export Image, the Export Layout menu appears and you have a different choice of file formats. The window itself looks slightly different, but most of the options are the same. You have a choice of BMP, PNG, JPEG and TIFF as bitmap files. You have a similar choice of encapsulated PostScript and PDF format as PostScript files. But in addition to these file formats, you have the option of Windows Metafile, Enhanced Metafile Plus, and Enhanced Metafile. The latter three Metafiles are Windows-only file formats. Much like the other export we've just seen, when you choose one of these options, you can choose the resolution of your image, the colour model of your image and the size of your image. You can then select the folder you wish to export it to and the file name. However, I'm going to cancel this and show you the last option that there is which is unique to the Windows version of GraphPad Prism. On the menu, there is also a Send option. Within the Send option, you have three buttons. The top button enables you to email a sheet, family or project immediately from within PRISM. This saves you saving the file to somewhere on your hard disk and then later selecting that file and emailing it. You also have the option to create a PowerPoint or Word document containing your image or figure. For instance, if I click on the PowerPoint button now with Layout 1 selected, it immediately loads PowerPoint and creates a new slide with Layout 1 inserted in the middle of the slide. If I minimize PowerPoint and then press on the Insert Selected Graphic to Word button, it loads Microsoft Word, creates a blank page, and inserts the figure into the page. And here you can see the figure has been inserted into Microsoft Word. These are interesting and unique features to PRISM in Windows as it will allow you to get your information very quickly into a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation. So in this video you've seen the quick ways you can get your text or numerical data into a spreadsheet 
and how you can get your graphs or layouts into PowerPoint, Word or export them as images.